Africo Temple is the first dance company in the United States to combine Afro-Peruvian movements with contemporary dance. We did a tour to Peru and um, we were able to uh, take our dancers over there and perform with Eva Young and got to meet with artists um, like Susana Vaca. Our classes were packed. I mean, we couldn't get any more people even to sit inside. Dancers that we took to Peru are from four different countries. They would ask them about their culture and then they would, you know, say, oh, in, in Trinidad we do this and this is how we move here. It was nice to see those exchanges. Pachamama in uh, Quechua, Quechua is the language of the Incas in Peru, uh, means Mother Earth. To me, as a choreographer, it's very monumental because I've always worked with Afro-Peruvian rhythm. So this is the first time I'm working with um, the rhythm of uh, marinera or huayno or, you know, interpreting a part of the Amazon culture like the curandero, which is the medicine doctor. La Línea de Nazca, which is, means the Lions of Nazca, which is a region in Peru. There's these huge drawings on sand and that nobody knows how they got there. But what would happen if that line comes to life? How can I interpret that? We're not presenting a marinera. It's inspired by the marinera, so the postures and the way you, they carry themselves or maybe um, the essence of the marinera you'll see um, combined with contemporary dance. Waino, the, the Andean music, also has very traditional way of dancing and we have included those elements like some uh, Waino zapateo, for example, or um, uh, the use of uh, masks or pañuelos and things like that. So, well, since the show is called Pachamama, it's an homage to Mother Earth, um, we have decided to use um, the elements like water, and fire, and those are things that we're including in the show. Mm -hmm.